<laughs> Grandma, no! Hey video gamers, welcome to Choice Cuts. Uh, I'm your host Marlon Weeb, I'm the video producer here at uh, First Self Games. And yes, this is Choice Cuts, the show where we take a look at the game industry through video and trailers, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, who we got on the chat here? Uh, let's see here. We got uh, uh, Mac Rooney, Frontierman, Frosted Sentry, Patchy Perfect, Anim Tree. You sprinted home to catch the stream. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Yes, you could definitely share a trailer with me to pick it. Yes, and another point of this show is to also, um, if you have a trailer you want to share, we'll definitely take a look at that and um, see what you got. Hey, Anne Free. <laughs> Praetorium, good to see you. Uh, and yeah, there's a couple new things um, going on at BYG these days. Uh, one, as um, Alexa pointed out, Patchy Perfect, is that yes, we have a new high resolution camera so you can see all the. Uh, the pores in my face, and you're a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more intimate. <laughs> it's the lens is, the lens is a little bit, uh, uh longer for sure. Um, and we got a new chair, that kind of thing, which you guys can't notice, but I definitely can while streaming, um, for an hour and a half. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we got some other good, uh, news to share as well. Um, and, um, yeah, the big thing here at Brace Yourself Games is that we announced that, uh, one of our games, Phantom Brigade, is coming soon. So the first thing we're going to check out is that. Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a good show, lots of different stuff to check out. We're going to check out UAG News, uh, some Twitter stuff, uh, and then some notable trailers, and then we'll get to the, the community stuff after that. Uh, so I hope you can hang on there. Uh, Till then, NM Tree. thanks again for, for posting that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get right to, down to it here. Uh, let's see. All right, so yes, we just announced that Phantom Brigade is going to be releasing uh, in early access on Epic Store, and here's the little teaser trailer we made. Just something short, something small, just to just to announce the the date. Life was so simple before the invasion. Yeah, that's right. Nice and nice and short and simple. Just to announce, the, just to have something to announce the trailer, uh, the game with. Uh, oops, I forgot to scroll down. Um, I'm the video producer here at Brace Yourself Games. Yeah, I'm Tree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, video producer does sound a little more better than video guy. Uh, hey, Herb herbivore. Yeah, we got some good stuff to we got some really awesome stuff to show you in the coming days. Please stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot more good stuff, uh, including uh, some more trailers and streams, that kind of thing leading up to it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, very excited, very excited uh, that we can actually now have a date to go along with everything. Um, and as some of you know who are in the games industry, it's also a little bit nerve-wracking because you have to get stuff done before then, so there's a little bit of that as well. Uh, but it's, it's all good. We're, we're getting stuff done. We feel like we're in a good spot. Uh, so yeah. Hey, Derek. Good to see you. Uh, how are things going? We're going to be checking out some of your stuff later in the stream as well. Uh, including, we're also going to be talking about the, uh, the GDC, GDC thing uh, next, actually. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, there was this, Derek's been, um, uh, part of the masterclass thing at GDC, uh, and some people were talking about the price and, um, and, uh, it caused a bit of controversy, but I think Derek had a really good, uh, tweet about it afterwards where he actually talked about all the, cause he's really great about, uh, explaining how trailers work and how to make trailers. So he made a post about all the all the stuff that he's done, um, all the trailer resources and stuff that he's posted for free. So if you can't if you can't afford the the class, which is expensive, um, then there's definitely the stuff to check out. And yeah, my impression is that the GDC thing is really for indies. It's not really an indies thing, so it kind of makes sense that it's a bit more uh, uh, higher priced. Um, so 
It's mad expensive, yeah. Yeah, the post is really good, Derek. I really, really appreciate it. I think that was really good, uh, good for you to do, to do that. Um, but yeah, again, I, I feel like GDC in general isn't really aimed at indies. And so I think when when we indies see this, we're just like, like, wow, what? <laughs> uh, and it, it sounds like he's already, he, he said some other tweets about it where he's actually getting paid for it and stuff. And he could take time off to improve uh, his classes and stuff. So it sounds like an amazing opportunity. And I don't see why you'd say no to that. Um, and it did uh, spawn, like, uh, other people were mad at it, and uh, Remy started his own uh, thing called the Keycard Workshops, which is kind of like a more affordable version of that, of, uh, of, of kind of the GDC Masterclass thing. And again, I think these are the like, two separate, but like equal, uh, they're for different audiences, I find. So I, I feel like it's, it's all positive all the way around, personally. Yeah, that's good, Derek. That people are yeah, GDC and I struggle. But yeah, again, I, I just feel like it's it's an audience thing. Um, uh, personally, like the GDC audience is aimed for uh, more of a AAA kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it's nice that you know it spawned this, which is good too, right? Like I feel like it's all it's all positive. Um, remember, who has that much money to throw to class, though? Yeah, I feel like again. And, and G this is a kind of an issue I, I feel like GDC has had in general, where it's just a bit more it's overpriced for indies in general. So I feel like people who generally go, uh, I find, I feel like a lot of people get paid by their work or something, that kind of thing. So yeah, that could be a, that could be what it is. The 1K Masterclass from one of the best expert in giving feel is nothing for... Exactly, yeah. And Sir Karma makes a good point. Yeah, it's like a... Like a company can pay for that for sure, and and get an awesome, an awesome instructor uh, out of it. So again, I, I feel like these things are both, uh, I think, very positive things. Um, something something is this where seventy dollars for next game is going? Oh, <laughs> that's where GDC doesn't pay people to do talks. Um, I think in some of Derek's tweets he talked he talked about how he's actually getting paid um, to do this talk. So that's good. Um, and I'm sure you spend that much on workshops and online classes. Yeah, again, it's like Derek's really good at what he does, and I feel like it's um, it can be worth it. Um, I think GDC must have been comparing themselves to other business-focused online courses, which can be five hundred dollars plus. Yeah, and that's and that's what I'm that's what I feel about this is that it is again an audience kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. Uh, I think there's like good, good stuff coming out of this um, for sure. Uh, this is this is really interesting, um, and and uh, and uh, definitely check out Derek's stuff. And uh, if you can't afford the thousand bucks, then I'm sure it's going to be an awesome class. But if not, like check out Derek's other stuff. Uh, there's lots of good stuff going on there. Uh, but also speaking of Derek's work, is um, Derek made a trailer for a game called Noita which many of you may be familiar with. I want to check out this trailer. On stream. <laughs> nice. This game is so hard. <laughs> I imagine you just spent a lot of time uh, doing different takes in this one. This is genius too, having the, the text in the in game like that. I spent it was 90% capture, 10% editing. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so many deaths. <laughs> Been doing a lot of roguelikes re recently, Derek. <laughs> Enem tree, I have a problem with the text on the screen. I've seen advice not to do too many cards. Ah! Uh 
Well, the thing is, is that this this it uses it in very sparsely, um, and it's used to set up the the hooks of the game, which is like explaining that all these pixels do these all these different things. So I think it works really well. I think when when text cards come in, when you can do too many text cards, is when you are explaining like, uh, you know, this game's got like 500 features or something that sort of thing. Um. The Burns Flow Shatters was in game the rest of the Dunning AE. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I can't imagine you could do. I can't imagine you could do the. Uh, oh, yeah, this was a. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, these ones definitely. That would be hard to do in AE. <laughs> Derek wanted to show a lot of verbs rather than a title card that says the pixels are simulated. Yeah. That's a great, yeah, great idea for that. Um, did you did you have access to like a like an editor to do that, or did the, did the developers uh, have to design this specifically? These 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 title cards in particular. Anim trees. Oh, so don't explain features of texture. Well. Hmm. I think I think if you can if you can show it I think the, the idea is if you can show it in a game show it rather than uh, exp like saying the text for everything um, it's kind of the the rule like you don't want to uh, explain something like like as Derek said like hey the pixels are simulated you don't want to have a text card that says that pixels are simulated uh, it's like I mean I guess you do say it in here too but you don't want to say it right off the bat but instead you want to show it which i think this trailer does really well uh you can see when he says flows here you can see the the pixels dripping around and stuff like that like uh so i think that's kind of the key um derek says they sent psd files with those text cards which i could open the game for those oh what wow that's super cool their editor must be nuts or the stuff they could do in the back end Anyway, um, yeah, you do see every pixel, yeah. But then, but then you don't say every pixel is necessarily simulated. You you show exactly what it can do. Yeah, text cards are uh, definitely tricky. You don't want to. You don't also don't want to overload people with too much text. Um, indies tend to like have like like text boards that are like two lines long, that sort of thing. And you got to be careful with that. Uh, because uh, reading kind of takes attention away, and you have to pause the whole trailer for that and sort of thing. Noida even has a built-in video capture function where it draws frames to a file. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. <laughs> anyway, that's a super cool trailer. Uh, congrats to Derek for that, and congrats to the Noida team for finally launching 1.0. That's that's awesome. Uh, good for CPU intensive stuff, yeah. Sir Karma says, every time I see a trailer using every, I think of the No Man's Sky controversial trailer. Was, were you scared about that co comparison? <laughs> well, the thing is, is that they can actually, every time Derek says a, every time he says a verb, he's actually showing exactly what it could do, right? Whereas I feel like the No Man's Sky one, the trailer you might not necessarily see all that. Um... Yeah. Urban War, oh, to run at, low, run at low frame rates and get a high frame rate render. Yeah. So the game basically like waits for the frame to finish rendering before uh, sending you an image kind of thing. Does that mean you have to play the game at like a really low frame rate? Man. Because <laughs> I know we did that with the, we did that with the Phantom Brigade, like the, the trailer uh, you just saw like we could render that out in unity um but then we're not playing it like real time the game frame rate chugs when recording video oh wow that's crazy huh uh yeah very cool um congrats on that for sure uh, and okay so moving on to some other notable releases uh that's happened in the last little while. I feel like a lot of games released recently. Like, I was checking Twitter, I think, was it like, 
I think it was just yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday when Noida launched. It was like this, Lucifer was in us, Noida. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Um, so let's take a tra look at this trailer. I know that Derek did the previous trailer for this. I'm not sure if he did this, this one. Oh, we actually get to see some. Derek says Kid Fox did this himself. Okay. okay we're actually getting to see some uh, gameplay on this one, I guess. cool um i do like that they just kind of because this is such a weird game pc menu games are hard to re yeah exactly right uh and this is where the, the text could come in handy because it's like kind of explaining a little bit what's going on um but i do like how they just kind of show this um because yeah this is a hard game to explain <laughs> to show off what exactly you do uh so i kind of like that they just show it here just like kind of hang on it a little bit um get you a good idea of what, uh exactly what's going on okay so you're actually like uh a little bit of a oh you're like presenting the the, the evidence to them a little bit of uh ace attorney going on and then you purge their demons Some cool effects there. Um, I'm just gonna look at the listen to the music one more time. Oh, there is some uh, sound effects and stuff there. Yeah, that's cool. I, I feel like I think one of my maybe one thing I would say about this is that it seems like there could have been a bit more of a ramp up to this. Seems like it kind of happens a little bit fast. Looks cool though. Um, yeah, it feels like the the music to me is just like a little bit um, low to me. K hey, Calix, good to see you. It is not an RPG. It is it is like a um, Ace Attorney ish um, investigative. Looks like you can battle. I think it's like a battle of like a battle of wits, maybe like a like. Hey, you're lying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find evidence, and I'm gonna, uh, contra I'm gonna get, get my evidence and, uh, and uh, display it to you, and uh, find the cracks in your testimony, that kind of thing. Um, a game designed for trailer editors, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, we, we're releasing a game that also has a timeline. Anti Brigade also has a scrubbable timeline. A little bit different though. Uh. Yeah, it's cool. I think I think this trailer does a good job of showing what it actually is. The previous trailer was uh, was good at setting the mood for sure. Derek's trailer. Um, so yeah, yeah. Decided to try that one. Out. Apparently, it's pretty short, um, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I think games these days are often too long. Calix says it's timelines is the new hook. Yeah, that's right. Next Clark Tech is just like, yep, hooks are just timelines. Timelines and everything. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of uh, M. Joshua, he's another um, awesome trailer editor. Um, and he's been working on tons of stuff recently. <laughs> That's a good ride. Thank you. <laughs> no one will surpass Craftopia's trailer. Yeah, that's right. Or the, um, uh, what was it, Crossroads? Crossroads something? One with the uh, the dagger and the and the coin it had nothing to do with gameplay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely getting Clark used for that one for sure. Um, 
Okay, so I wanted to check out this new trailer for... So this other game launched recently called Raji, and it's been getting a lot of attention. And yeah, M. Joshua, who makes... He makes trailers, says on his website, he does it. Um, yeah, he made this trailer for Raji, so I wanted to check this out. I haven't seen it yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. It's like action adventure platforming kind of thing. Polished. Yeah, I think this trailer just came out. Calyx. Whoa! Yeah, nice. Whoa, that's awesome. Nice and ah, oh, man. To the point. I love it. Wow. Good job. Good job, uh, M. Joshua. Man, it's so intense. <laughs> Big monster at the end there. Yeah, dig it. Um, yeah, this game is definitely one of those ones where it's like, uh, I remember when I was uh, uh, doing freelance for other companies, like I choose choose the games I wanted trailer based on how they looked, because it's just like, you know, if it looks good already, it's, you know, half the job of the trailer maker is done for you already. Um, Kalix reminds you of Mulaka. Oh, I've heard of that one, I think, before. Uh, Patchy Purvy says that's how they do their cutscenes. It's really fun. I just wasn't feeling an action game at the time, so I bought it and played it for a bit and stopped. Whoops. Oh. Oh, what was it? The shadow puppet bit. Yeah, it, there was a tiny bit of the shadow puppet thing there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I guess it. I guess this is just released on Switch then, so that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, Derek does a lot of stuff. What the Gulfs did some stuff for Slay the Spire. Uh, Manifold Garden. Yeah, oh my goodness. Busy. Park Architect. <laughs> Man, Derek, their uh, M. Joshua has been real busy. There's been so much work recently for uh, trailer people. It's, it's nice to see. Uh, Anime Trio. There's ESB, ESRB and Switch things a requirement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, especially if you're launching uh, on the Nintendo, because this is on their channel. So Nintendo requires that you put the Switch Stinger and the ESRB on there. <laughs> it's been busy as AF this week. Yeah, this year. Yeah. Uh, Switch only? Did they get an exclusive? I don't think so. I think it's on. Um, I think I saw it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can get it on Steam. Yeah. I think it was just a, a recently that it launched on Switch. Anyway, very cool. Sweet trailer, uh, Joshua. Good to see you uh, getting lots of work. Uh, how much time do you need to spend to make a trailer like this one? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's... Depends. I would, I would imagine that this took probably... I don't know two, three weeks full time, two, three weeks full time. And that'd be like nonstop um, without any breaks. But of course, since, you know, work is work, you probably have it spaced out over a bit more time. I mean, if you were going to ask for someone to make a trailer like this, you definitely want to give them like a couple months uh, notice in advance. I've definitely made trailers in like two weeks, but uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, uh, or any, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I do take, uh, I, or I have taken like um, shorter term uh, trailer. Like if somebody's like, oh man, I need this thing in like two weeks, but then um, definitely up my, my price because it's like, well, I'm going to be crunching on this. So you're going to have to pay me a bit more. Um, so it kind of depends on what's needed, what's required. Um, and the individual trailer maker should 
uh, know how much to charge for that, that sort of thing. Three to four weeks to make a trailer? Yeah. Those are under extremely ideal, uh, one week, extremely ideal. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? It's like, the, the thing with making trailers for games is that you need the game to be in a state where it's like, uh, solid enough to, to be able to show. And yeah, it's a it's an interesting thing that um, I have experienced in the, not, not so much when I was freelancing, but now that I'm like part of a game company and doing trailers, um, and the fact that we're working on like early access stuff all the time and kind of having this like rolling schedule um, where like for Titan, we would we would do a, a new trailer like every every month, basically. Um, it's a little trickier because like you're trying to get like the team's trying to get things done uh, for the deadline, but you also need the trailer done for the deadline, but you need some time like uh, at least a week before to like try to get it done. And like, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a lot of balancing, for sure. Um, I think we've got it down to a bit of a science now. Um, kind of having, uh, you know, the, the stuff, the visual stuff done first so that we can show that right away. Um, and having more of the back end stuff, uh, the programmers can work on the back end stuff a little bit closer to the deadline. Um, but yeah, we also have a, a template for our, our trailers now too. Um, so that definitely helps things. Uh, you always have unfinished assets in your trailers. It comes with the territory. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, is that with a lot of that stuff, it's uh, you're probably the one that's going to notice that the most. You got to capture which finish, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff where, yeah, you're going to notice that more than... And you as the developer is going to notice that more than people will as long as you're not like deceiving people i guess like you're not showing stuff that's like not going to be in there or, or it's going to be drastically changed like it's probably going to be fine ever before i feel like most of us have unfinished assets in the game yet yep welcome to early access <laughs> we're going to be having two more games in early access soon it's gonna be crazy uh, Sir Karma, we have an Unreal Engine icon in the first IoT trailer. I think this is a, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, because we, oh yeah, we did post, yeah, that's right. I guess we don't have to say that anymore. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's, that's how things go. Uh, it's been, what, two, three years since that trailer? What games, man. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's Raji. Uh, and now we can get to the uh, three years, yeah. Sir Karma is our the art director on uh, Industry of Titan, for sure. Hi, Streckle, hey, welcome here. Hi, would it be okay to request checking out later's hammering release date trailer? Yeah, absolutely. Post it in the chat. Uh, 007 Soccer Pro, how much do trailers like this typically cost ballpark range? Oh, um, yeah, it's, it's, it depends. It really depends. It's, I don't want to, uh, say any hard numbers because I don't want to get numbers in people's heads. Like it kind of depends on who you're going with and you know, what, what's the idea because that requires more work and, um, like depends on how much work the trail, like the person you're hiring has to do as opposed to the if you're capturing your own stuff that sort of thing um yeah it, it can vary wildly <laughs> a, baj a bajillion dollars well it's not quite that much but I, I would recommend like if you if you want to get um like i'd recommend if you if you're making a game you should definitely uh reach out to individual trailer makers and um and see how much they, and like, here's my game. Here's a rough idea. Like how much would you charge for this? Or do you have any other ideas? And then they would be able to like work with you and, and kind of uh, get the, the price in there. Um, I know I've, I, when I was working, I think I definitely undercharged myself a lot. Um, Cause yeah, I probably just wanted them to, uh, uh be satisfied that sort of thing so uh i probably undercharged myself and 
yeah. So I don't want to say my number because it might be low compared to what other people are saying. So it's a tricky subject. It's a tricky subject. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get to some community trailers. A couple of people have posted in chat, and there's a couple that were posted on Twitter. One, for example, uh, that I'll do first. Um, so it makes sense, yeah. And a tree is a few weeks of specialist work, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to check out um, uh, Michael Molinari's new game, who is known as One Mr. Bean. He makes a lot of uh, Twitch games. Uh, I think he made one where it was like, is it Choice Chamber, where you it's a Twitch game where you play a platformer and then people in the chat like send uh, obstacles in, in your way, that sort of thing. Uh, made a really simple one. We might do a full one closer to that. Yeah. Uh, oh, again. Um, and um, oops, get rid of this. And, uh, if you're looking for a list of people to do trailers. Uh, I do have it on my website, uh, mweeb.com slash awesome trailer creators. Uh, and this is not a comprehensive list and it's also not like listed in terms of who's best. Uh, it's just a list of people and you should click on their names and check out their um, portfolios. Uh, we have been talking about this. Um, some of us uh, trailer people have been talking about doing something else to like kind of have somewhere people can go for this, but um, uh yeah we'll see uh i've just been doing this because um a lot of people always ask me uh once i once i went full-time with byg um it's just an easy place to go like here's a bunch of people check them out and there's so many people doing awesome work so please check that out and i'm sure are they mostly mainly canadian no actually i think i think i'm the only no kurt gartner kurt gartner is also is probably one of the best uh trailer makers uh, out there um and i kind of got my start because he got his start uh making trailers for an arcade machine called the winitron and then uh yeah i was doing video stuff at school and yeah games and video kind of linked together uh kayla calix says it, it randomizes the order every time that would be ideal i would love that but i don't have the web smarts to know how to do that we actually do that for our about page on byg where it randomizes um, who's who's in the about page every time? Because Ryan doesn't want to be uh, kind of wants to keep things a bit more even at the, at the company. Uh, 007 didn't have I didn't have a lot of content to show off when I first made the trailer, so it was more simple. Yeah. And a tree recognized Shell in the pit. Yeah, they do trailers now. They're they're a uh, oh, that's true. They are Canadian. Um, they do mostly audio stuff for games, uh, but they do do trailers now too, um, which is really cool. They do. A lot of awesome stuff. And you know the sound is going to be really good when you hire a, an audio team to do your trailer. So, yeah. Uh, when Mr. Bean, hey! HD version is in a reply tweet. Watch that one. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, good call. Yeah, what is with Twitter and, like... Man, the Twitter video stuff is so messy. Often post the Twitter video stuff and then it just looks so grungy. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's watch this one. Also, good to, good to hear from you, uh, Michael. <laughs> Hope things are going well. All right, turning off the music. Sound on, full screen, let's go. Dodge the music again. So mesmerizing. Oh, check that out. How are you supposed to get away from that? So intense. Twitter videos work half the time on Discord for me. Tenth of the time on the browser. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's bad. Oh, 
Nice. That was, yeah, that's really uh, mesmerizing and satisfying to watch, for sure. Uh, cool. Uh, looking good. Um, congrats on the uh, on the announce. Yeah, the little dot was dancing. I love that little touch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope things uh, go well for you. Um, I know that Sound Dodger one was a was a big was a big hit. I think. Must be a lot of people uh, waiting for that one. Uh. Enemy tree, even though they got converted to the video on the back end. Yeah. Yeah, and they like, it looks all, it just looks all grungy. It's like, you get all those like uh, pixely artifacts and stuff like that. Like, oh man, it's frustrating. Uh, okay, let's take a look at some of the ones in chat. Oh, shoot. I forgot to. Uh, Twitch.tv. Slash brace yourself. Oops. Slash chat. There it is. Uh, okay. Sorry to have to do this. Uh, Shrekle and NM Tree. Can you guys post your links again? Uh, when Mr. Bean says it's been seven years since the first game, lots of excited fans. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. We all thought there's a few people excited. <laughs> I'm guessing you're one of them. Okay, awesome. Yeah, looking forward to that. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. Uh, Mr. Bean, what Mr. Bean? Uh, okay, let's take a look at Shrekles. Hammerting. Peggy 12. Peggy 12. Dwarves, mining. Permit is in progress. Prepare to delve deep. Manage the colony. Okay. All right. Definitely looks like a big world. Oh, interesting. It's like a side-scrolling dwarf fortressy type thing. Uh, Ciro, do you take more trailers from chat? Yeah, we're watching one right now, actually, from uh, Streckle. The vertical dwarven mining colony sim. What? What? The text is changing. <laughs> well, it looks pretty cool. Wait, is there a... Oh, you're getting published by Team 17. Nice, nice. Very cool. Um, yeah, uh, and you were the... Wait, no, somebody else is asking about uh, text boards. Um, oh, one thing I would say is that uh, I noticed that this... Peggy 12 thing was up for four seconds, and I think I believe if things haven't changed, unless it's a provisional thing, you can only you have you only have to have it up for two, I think. Yeah, it does look like a great game. Yeah, good job. Um, I believe that's that's the case anyway. Um, yeah, so some of these uh, text boards seemed like a little bit. Mm. Distracting, maybe? Like this one, I was like, you're a colony. Like, what? I'm not entirely sure what that, what, what uh, extra information that's, this one's kind of giving. And permanent process kind of just confused me a little bit. I wasn't sure what this, is it, it might be a joke, I guess. Um, prepare to delve deep, yeah? Yeah, that one, that one makes more sense to me. Okay, I yeah, I, I guess I was a little bit confused by it. like dwarves. I didn't realize that it was talking to the dwarves. Usually this text is like talking to the viewer, I think, which is why I was a bit confused because it seems like, oh, you're talking about dwarves, not at dwarves. 
if that makes sense. So I think I was a little bit confused about that part. Uh, prepare to delve deep. Yeah, I think I, I would just... Um... Hmm. Yeah, for text boards, um, if you do want to use them, I feel like... Um... Usually what you want to try to do is... Uh, uh, um... And Derek talks about this in some of his articles too, is, is uh, say what you're going to say something that you're going to show about the game, some game mechanic, that sort of thing, and then kind of show it afterwards. Yeah, voiceover probably would have been a bit of a, uh, a, a good option there. Um, uh, but yeah, you do show the game. I mean, you, you show the game off really well. Uh, you do get the sense afterwards, like how, how the game plays, that sort of thing. Expand and explore, and now you're expanding and exploring. So that, that's good. Right. Craft like the gods. Hey, tic tac foe, 53 viewers. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone. Welcome to Choice Cuts. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I forgot I was using my new term. Hey, video gamers. Get it? Video gamers. <laughs> We're talking about videos and games. Um. But yeah, I, I think I think the rest of it works well. I think it's just that the first part that was confusing me. But uh, yeah, um, you're looking awesome. Uh, really hope things go well for you. Uh, looks like a cool game. Uh, thanks for showing it, for sure. Uh, maybe slightly too long. Um, it's just over a minute. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, the main, the main thing is, uh, oh, but you may be right, but that part didn't work super well. Yeah, I think I think voiceover. So the other thing about uh, voiceover versus uh, title cards is that voiceover doesn't take your your eyes off of what you're showing, kind of thing. Like you can listen to the you can listen to the voiceover and internalize that information as you're watching gameplay, and you want people to be watching, like kind of focusing on that gameplay a bit more. Um, Whereas the text kind of pops up and it's like, oh, like it demands your attention basically. And uh, kind of the gameplay becomes like kind of secondary. Um, but yeah, the rest, of, the rest of the trailer I think worked really well. Uh, I think it's just that one part at the beginning. So good work. And uh, yeah, good luck on further updates and stuff. Um, Wash bears to your voiceover might be easier to localize too. Maybe, I guess. Well, you'd have to, well, it'd be more expensive because you'd have to like hire different voiceover people. Um, uh, da -da -da. Where's, okay, Anim Tree. Here we go. So this is uh, from Anim Tree in chat. Uh, Tic Tac Foe, have we watched it? Yes, we have actually. Yeah, have you been playing some Noita TTF? Uh, how did you get so many people to check it check it out? <laughs> Ten MG, I have not heard of this. Oh, sweet. Yeah, uh, I think Noita is one of those games where I bought it. Terrible at it. Probably will watch some other streamers play it because, man, it's hard. Okay, here we go. Here, this is from uh, NM Tree in chat. <laughs> this little guy's cute. Oh, take that pill. That's a big pill. Oh, the pill's taking you. Oh, this looks sweet. Oh, I have heard of this before. That was... That... Is a great trailer. <laughs> that is great. Uh, we had ten times ten second trailers. That's that's a great idea. Uh, wait, this one's. Hang on, this one's thirty seconds. What's going on? Uh. Oh yeah, Adam Tree. I wish you knew how to scale up pixel graph. Aha! I have a. I do have a trick for that. Um, basically. Uh, if you know After Effects at all, I can explain it uh, really quick. Um, 
basically what you do is you take your footage and you pre-comp it. And then in the pre-comp, you go to the set pre-comp settings and you expand it by four, uh, four times. So if you're at like, I don't know, 100 by 100, then you make the, the comp 400 by 400. And then you scale that footage up to fill the whole thing. And then you make sure to check uh, the little box on the layer that's uh, that makes it, um, uh, what is it? The little line, the little line that, that flips to make it, <laughs> I forget what it's called, aliasing. They turn off the aliasing. And then in the other, in the, like when you back out of that pre-comp, now you can you can turn the aliasing on, on the pre-comp and you can scale it around and it should be, the pixels should be a little bit crisper. Um, so yeah, that's a quick way. I, I learned that from Kurt Gartner, actually. He did a lot of pixel game trailers. And uh, I made a tool actually called uh, Pixel Comp. Uh, it's the first time I did a like After Effects uh, scripting and it like automatically does all those steps for you. I can, I can, uh, if you hit me up on Twitter or something, uh, I can send it to you. Or no, wait, it's on my, it's on my GitHub. Yeah, I'll, I'll, hit me up later and I, I can send you a link to it and stuff. Um, okay, now we have to check out a bunch of 10 second trailers. Oh, I'm so excited. This is such a good idea. Uh, I mean, this, this uh, reminds me of like classic indie stuff, which I have a fondness for. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. So we'll check that out. Check that out in a bit. Uh, was a 10 by X, 10 by 10 suggesting a 10 by 10 times 10 second trailer or 10 times 10 minute games? Both. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Well, we'll check that out in a second. I think there was somebody else who also had a trailer here. But yeah, uh, another awesome thing about that trailer is that, yeah, short trailers. If your game is, you know, you, you don't want to expand your trailer to a minute just because, like, if you, 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 you want people to leave wanting more. So if you only have, like, you know, 30 seconds worth of content, like different stuff you can show, make it a 30 second trailer. That's going to be way more effective than, you know, a minute, stretching that out to a minute, right? Unless you have, like, some awesome uh, idea for it, that kind of thing. Um, a certain track or something, you know. Uh, okay. What else we got here? Da, da, da. Cicero. Cicero. Wandering Village. Oh, this game. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's check it out. Short games, short trailers. Oh, I love the uh, little animations on these guys. Oh, it's gonna zoom out for the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wild. City builder on the back of a, of a giant creature. Uh-oh, baddies? Yep, baddies. Yeah, flamethrowers! Take them out. Good day. Good day, Brother Mittens. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. The Wandering Village. That's, that's, that's awesome. Such a good... Uh, such a good concept. Um, yeah, I think that's a that's a solid uh, reveal. And, and again, this is a reveal trailer, so uh, not showing like specific game mechanics is fine. And plus, you get the idea, right? Like it's it's city building, colony management kind of thing. But you know, you zoom out to the hook of you're on a giant you're on a giant creature. Um, I guess the one thing I'd be curious about is that other than it being like a and this is just for the game, I think the trailer, I think the trailer does a good job of, of doing what it needs to. Um, but for the game, like how does the how does it work with the creature moving through, you know, like what does that 
kind of game mechanics do you have in there? I guess that's for future trailers, that sort of thing. Uh, Chiba Hudson needs this, yeah. Atwin? What is Atwin? And I'm, as a trailer editor, getting the ability to set an RTS on the dinosaur. <laughs> Dream come true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Avatar Fantasy. Oh. Looks awesome. Really good, uh, really good reveal trailer though. I like, I like how it, uh, you know, gets you with the graphics uh, and the interesting look. And that's already getting hooky, but then, you know, there's your hook right there. So yeah, excited to see more stuff, uh, more trailers in the future of uh, how this will all play out. Uh, interesting. That's definitely something we have to include in our early access trailer. Yeah. Explain more about how the biomes, the animal, the tribe interact with each other. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, again, I think good job on the on the reveal trailer. I don't think you need to necessarily explain that for this one. Um, but yeah, excited to see it in future trailers. Uh, maybe you also use tile cards for symbiosis. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Unless there's a unless there's a way to uh, show that symbiosis is happening like in the game, I guess. Um, and again, uh, title cards can be useful to explain that stuff if it's not obvious by just showing the game, right? So symbiosis might be something if you if it's not like if it's more of a uh, you know behind the scenes thing and not as so much visual, then yeah, you might want to say that sort of thing. Uh, Calyx likes the Sea of Decay kind of spores, yeah. Is that another, is that another game? Sea of Decay? Uh, what, what about something like the Baddies Land? Cut to the big boy in pain. Cut back to the villagers burning the baddies. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Because they're, they're helping the monster stay, uh, the creature, I guess it's to say. Stay free of spores. Yeah, it's a cool idea. Uh, and kind of I, wondering if there is some sort of uh, like climate change kind of uh, themes to this. Like we as we as humans are on a planet that also needs caring for. It's interesting. Uh, love the aesthetic. Yeah, aesthetic. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for that, Cero. Uh, sketchy house flipper. Definitely not on the same level as these trails. Still be cool. Okay. 007 Soccer Pro in the chat. Uh, Nausicaa Ghibli movie. Watch the reason. Yeah. Big inspiration, Nausicaa. Nice. Yeah, very cool. All right. Sketchy house flippers from 007 Soccer Pro in the chat. Great name, by the way. <laughs> Grandma, no! <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> that was... That was amazing. What are, you, what are you saying? This isn't on, on the level of the, the trailers. I think it's great. <laughs> Stealth crimes. Right. So, oh, so the goal. Yeah, right. So the goal is to make the house uh, less valuable so you can buy it. For, basically. Man. In that case, you know, grandma's justified. So you're playing the bad guy, basically. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, and again, 30 second trailer. Good job. Good job with 30 second trailer. You kind of get the hook across and you don't spend too much time. I'm definitely curious about seeing more. <laughs> a little right at the, oh, is there a ghost monkey? Oh, there is. Oops. Yes. Okay, whoops. I keep clicking the wrong buttons. What's wrong with me? Here we go. Yes! <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, good job. Good job. I, I, I think that's a great trailer. Uh, again, yeah, 30 seconds. 
It's great. Show you show off the hook, Grandma. The cane, I guess, in this case. Well, Grandma's cane is kind of like a hook. It's a literal, literal hook there. Yeah, it's a little, little bit of a hook. Look at that. There's, there's your hook. That's how you show a hook in a trailer. <laughs> yeah, good, good timing as well. Yeah, for sure. And I, I like, I like the, the kind of in your face uh, way that these title cards come in. And that's another uh, cool thing about uh, uh, text boards and stuff too is that having them come on like that it makes it easier to parse and read because it's you know it's easier to see them come on that's really uh but yeah Exc excited to see more of it for sure <laughs> oh, that's really good uh all right what else we got here so uh da -da -da, jay weston all right Oh, XO one Oh, this is... Oh, Jay, I'm a fan. I am already a fan. I played your demo, and I want to play the full game. Uh, this is for Gamescom. I'm thinking of doing something similar for the release trailer, but wasn't sure. Okay. Kalex, I don't like the idea of Grandma being scammed, though. Mm. Please don't scam Grandmas. <laughs> though she seems to be... She seems to be feisty. She, she could probably take care of herself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we go, XO one The aesthetic for this game is awesome. The clouds, so good. So it's kind of like, um, I kind of feel like it's, uh, what is that game called? Tiny Wings on, uh, on iOS? It's like 3D science fiction tiny wings which I'm all here for Whoa. going into a black hole <laughs> oh man Very chill vibe for sure. Whoa. This is a cool game. You guys, everybody should check out the demo on Steam if you can. It's really fun. Um uh NM Tree is talking about his uh about the uh, sketchy house flipper. The pitch is a little hard to explain succinctly because people don't expect to put role play anti heroes. Yeah. Uh, sketchy house flipper made you think of a landlord in a TV show called Homes Under the Hammer. Oh, interesting. Anim Tree. Yeah, this game looks so chill. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely got a good good vibe. I, I really appreciate the like Sagan quotes and stuff that they that he has in it. Uh, looks beautiful. Um, I think one thing that I am missing, uh, and this is just a glimpse of trailer, you get, this is like almost the only section of the game where you kind of get the, because you spend a lot of time flying, but most of the game I find was more doing the like rolling around and stuff like that. Like this part, yeah. So... I think I think I like the vibe of the trailer. I think it would just be nice to see a little bit more of the actual um, kind of gameplay. Although that looked awesome, you're flying around a lot. Um, yeah, I mean the game looks great, right? Like if you have a good looking game, it's like you just show a bunch of good looking stuff of your game and make a good trailer. Um, but yeah, I think my only feedback would be yeah. Uh, Kind of mix it up with the um with this kind of rolling around gameplay a little bit more um and like interweave those things with the uh with the chill vibes i think you think, think flying looks more dramatic mm. i mean it is nice right like where you I, I i can understand their impulse because you know you're flying through the clouds and stuff but 
to me, the best part of this this game is like when you start getting a good run up, like, and then you do one big like, Foof, and then you then you fly up into the clouds. Like that's part of satisfying where you're like flying up and launching yourself into it. Um, so kind of capturing that feeling to me, I feel like would be would be awesome. Um, yeah, there's there's some, there's really good shots in here though. I'm excited to play this full game. I'm hyped. And I think the, the actually the way that I heard about this game is that uh, maybe we were talking with you. We were actually looking for a uh, for some cloud tech in Unreal, and I think your game came up as a as an example, or we were talking with you about it or something. Anyway, that's that's how I remember hearing about it for the first time and, and being excited to try it out. It looks really good. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Jay. Good luck on the on the launch. Uh, got a teaser trailer for the Frontier Man. Oh man, satisfactory trailers. These guys are always always got something good. <laughs> wow, not even a not even a title card or anything. That's great. That's a that's a pure trailer right there. Just show just show us some gameplay. Have an awesome idea and uh make it nice and short. Um that was a lovely setup, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so super good. Uh David Canada, I'm on the Cyberpunk hype you. Oh, I don't know. I'm very, I'm always very skeptical. Personally, I'm always very skeptical of like these big games that make such a big stink that they just, you can't ignore them. But like, I generally tend to uh, stay away from them until somebody's played it and get some feedback, that sort of thing. Um, uh, the trailers are really good though. Yeah, they got some professional AAA trailer makers there. Uh, Sarah, I almost expected to go wrong in the last one. Yeah, that, that would kind of fall into satisfactory. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they just clearly had a really good idea for this trailer. It's <laughs> good. 37,000 views. Yeah, satisfactory. They'll, they'll do that. Very cool. Uh, is there any more? Ding, ding. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, right. We have to watch all the 10 second games. 10 second. 10 second trailer. Close. Okay. All right. We're going to watch a bunch of 10 second trailers. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. Have made the labyrinth. Oh. <laughs> this looks awesome. Although, I did have a hard time. Hand, handmade D. Oh, death labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> I just had a, the, the little. Um, this thing threw me off. Hand me Death Laboratory. I definitely dig the the vibe of this game though. I would play I would play that for sure. Alright, there's one. 
Smile. It's just called Smile. <laughs> oh, this looks chill. That trailer made me smile. Ath, Ath Labyrinth looks searchable. <laughs> Steer, Steer. Oh, this is Droken's game. Frosty, I see. I now join. Am I later? Early? Oh, whoops. Auto play. Yeah, that looks really chill. That one. Um, and it, oh, it must be, but it must be in ten seconds, right? Because the games are ten seconds. Calix said, honestly, thought that Ath Labyrinth was the name. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool looking game, but yeah, I think there's just that text board threw me off a little bit. Um, what do we got here? Had an affair? Yeah, you did. <laughs> it wasn't even an affair? How does that work? <laughs> nice. Oh, stop auto playing. All right, stroke. 10 second trailer. I love that logo. Oh, I love this song! Whoa, super short! We gotta watch that again. Even just for the music. It's Brother Android. Wow. I'm curious how that's gonna uh, uh, translate to a 10 second game. Or 10 minutes, sorry. 10 second. How would you do a 10 second trailer? Sounds hard. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's just like a commercial, right? <laughs> Wait. 10 second trailer. Three, three and a half minutes long? <laughs> Wait, what? What is going on? 10 seconds is hard with when a fifth of there's already logos. Oh yeah! Kirk Gardner did a six second trailer for Ridiculous Fishing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they did a lot of weird stuff for Ridiculous Fishing. This is a long 10 seconds. This is a 2020 10 second right here. It's like conversations. Six second trailer that Valve made from the ten second trailer weird and broken. Yeah. You don't think that one was right? Oops. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Uh okay. Seal the state. Here we go. Why is it so dark in here? Huh. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we have to watch that again. Oh, this is, a, this is a Halloween game right here. Why is it so dark? Top down. Uh. Whoa. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited to check this one out. Uh, this whole collection out. That was amazing. <laughs> it's weird how you did, you, managed, you did manage to get the feel for the, for the game in that one. It's good. I am going to wait. Uh-oh, Pixel. Pixel, be careful. <laughs> These are fun. These are really fun. Uh, Pixel, no. We want more of that music. This one? We'll watch it again. I am going to wait. Thomas, don't die yet. <laughs> yep, definitely going on a hero's journey. <laughs> it's good good uh okay you are such a soft and round kitten 10 seconds you were such a soft and round kitten you were just so soft and how round. did they know you were such a soft and round kitten but let's <laughs> have a lot of fun in the world <laughs> have a lot of fun kitten but let's have a lot of fun in the world let's have you lots of fun in the world i think that's what he said at the end there <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely a, that was definitely adorable. 
I always wanted to be a soft and round kitten. Uh, cover me in leaves. Ten seconds. Lightning round. Whoa. That one looks like it would be very hard to make an actual 10 second trailer for. Uh, winter name, yes. Agreed, Calyx. Winter song. <laughs> yeah, that one it looks like it's uh, text heavy. So yeah, how are you supposed to make a 10 second trailer? But you get the idea of what the game is going to be, and that's for sure. Snack. Ah, <laughs> snake! Gotcha. Watch that again. Oh, it was a twine game. Ah, hard to do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I love that. Yeah, these games are definitely like games like this are definitely uh, ripe for short trailers like that. Um, wow, looks really cool. Um, yeah, excited to check it out. Um, I loved your little trailer with the little round guy too. It's very good. Adorable. I'm gonna have to check that out. All right, was there anything else? I think that was it. Yeah. All right, um, is there anything else that, uh, any other trailers that we missed? I'm gonna do a tiny bit of looking at the Steam front page. Um, but thank you all so much for uh, sending in your trailers. Always love checking them out. Um, and everybody's so talented making so many awesome games. It's, it's like really exciting to see what everybody's up to. Um, uh, it's like those commercial bits on Adult Swim or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you watch Ring of Pain yet? Game? Ring of Pain? Uh, Ring of Pain? Game? Ring of Pain. Ha! <laughs> say, this guy does not look like he's in pain. Okay, Ring of Pain. Here we go. Huh! You made this world in your image. It's a sick joke. An affliction. A creeping curse that swallows you whole, a fallen, broken, lost control, and now a choice is in your hands. Oh the God. ring of pain and its demands. Plan your moves with watchful eyes. Engage, attack, or sneak to sides. Forge a path with choices wise. Observe the ring and strategize. Mix and match within confines of items, types, and slots defined. Seeking treasure, strength compounds. Passive powers, some profound. When death approaches, readjust. Your final choice is who to trust. <laughs> wow. That was a really well produced trailer. Uh, film Victoria. Oh, it's Australian. Wow. High production values for sure. Um,. Did we watch a trailer for this earlier? Wow. Um, one question I do have, though. This must be gameplay here. It seemed like this was not gameplay, and this was, like, created? No, it must be gameplay. Hmm. Interesting. It's a very compelling trailer, for sure. Uh, but the frog, yeah, I know. He's so adorable. <laughs> but it was all a lie. Um, yeah, that's a cool trailer. Uh, Ring of Pain, there it is. Very positive. How's it doing? Dungeon Crawler, Roguelite. Oh, somebody's streaming music. Interesting. Or no, sound design. It looks like F-Mod. There's a launch trailer? That was not the launch trailer. When dark Aha! Okay, let's watch this one. 
Once a curse disdained, it's time to enter the Ring of Pain. Ah, it's a humble game thing. A newfound friend is guiding you in dungeons that you're crawling through. A place in protest oh, lashing out. Okay. Fueled by fear, delusion, doubt. The ring adjusts with every action. Choices cause a chain reaction. Encounters come to you each turn. To fight for stealth, you must learn. Mimics treasure soon as ours. Equipping items, passive powers. Choose your gear to synergize. Build to playstyle, optimize. Careful who you listen to. Darkness waits to prey on you. Observe the ring and strategize. voice is so good in this. Yeah, and the rhyme is really good. I have a gift on one condition. Quench the thirst. It's your audition. <laughs> I see when you descend. Interesting. Is there a ghost monkey? No. Yeah, that's... Wow, they have good, great trailers. So yeah, here you is a good example um, of... You know, showing and not using text cards because they they use the VO to great effect here, where the the VO is interesting on its own, and then it's also explaining how the game works, and you don't ever have to take your eyes off the gameplay. Um, so yeah, really well done. Uh, I also love the art a little too much. It kind of reminds me like some a little bit of, about. Um, uh, what is it called? Severed. Just a tiny bit. With the, the way that they use color. It's like bright and colorful, but it's still demonic and stuff. It's very cool. And I love how they're doing audio, des audio design on their stream. Huh. Interesting. Uh, what else? We oh yeah, I was going to watch this one. I saw this one pop up a bunch. Um... And I'm interested in it because I have a game design idea that might be similar. Space. Like severed but board game. Yeah, exactly. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Jeopardize. It's five to ten minutes to explore a strange new world. To level up an incompetent crew and preferably keep them all alive. <laughs> to boldly go where the little mission marker tells you to go. <laughs> Five things to help avoid complete crew annihilation. Oh, this is like an explainer trailer. Avoid obvious knockoffs. They don't make engines like they used to. So at some point, you're going to need to give the old can some TLC. Just do yourself a favor and avoid doing that in the middle of an asteroid belt. Pay attention to that first syllable there and watch yours. It's like the old space crew say, if your crew member takes a hit, they're in the... <laughs> Physics 101, Matt. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. If the gravity is Wait, turned off how are you your ship and your crew is firing Are you managing these people or are you no moving them around? around? What do you think is going to happen? That's right. They'll be flying backwards down the corridor faster than a falcon on a castle run. Oh, funny. In space, no one can hear you scream. So if you find yourself in a blind panic and oh, okay. your ship without checking that your crew Wait, I still don't distance, actually understand. You won't hear all the abuse they're shouting at you either. <laughs> Every cloud. Not all crew members are created equal. And most of them only do one I still don't understand how this is controlled. Don't mix up your classes, or you'll get into Seems all like it's sorts a... of trouble. Allocate okay, you have a list on the left-hand side, so it must be. You're starting to see it must be a kind of a management game. Crew members to asteroids, airlocks, or fire extinguisher. I don't think it systems. is, Calix. I don't think it is, Kate. Hold on. Let's pretend for a moment that you haven't paid attention to a single thing I've seen. James Ed Smith. Hey, you welcome to the stream. Too much showing this setting scenario, not of showing how the game actually works. Anymore. You've made use of a shiny new escape yes. you had the foresight to install. But it's almost like they assume that we know how the game plays first, right? 
before you hire a completely new bunch of recruits with absolutely no experience whatsoever. Yeah, I, I would have spent that time up front instead of doing the instead of doing the kind of TV intro. I would be like, okay, you're actually you know controlling, managing a group of people. Frontierman says it's made by the people of Bomber Crew. Okay, I don't know that one. about all the advice I've got for you right now, but I'm sure you'll discover plenty more ways to mess everything up over the course of your impending space adventure. It's a dangerous world outside your ship. And with you in charge, it could be an even more dangerous one inside. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Yeah, I would definitely have used this time up front to, to be like, okay, this is a management game. Because it's not clear at all through the entire trailer. Which means it's different than the idea that I had for him. Uh, what's Bomber Crew? Uh, maybe the target group of that trailer is for the existing Bomber Crew players? Sure, but uh, I feel like if you're gonna have a, a trailer up front on Steam, you wanna like, you wanna hook players like immediately. Because uh, if there were some um, studies before, I forget exactly who did them. Uh, where the where someone was analyzing how people move through Steam, and people move through Steam by looking at tags and and images more than the trailer itself. Um, so there, are people who are on Steam are looking to see like, is this my jam? And so, having uh, you know, twenty seconds, almost thirty seconds of preamble before the. The actual gameplay starts. Oh, even more! It doesn't start till forty-five seconds in. Um, yeah, you definitely want to like show the game right away on Steam, like immediately. Um, it's time to answer the question on everyone's lips: What is space? Well, fans will certainly be able to draw parallels between sci-fi bomber crew. I think we've established that it takes okay. poor gameplay from Interesting. Uh, can you select which video shows first something? I believe you can, yeah. I think so. Hmm. Interesting. Well, here's a proper trailer. Let's check this out. For too long, the Phasmids have been causing trouble in our peaceful little corner of space. But not any longer. Gina, let's go full Abrams with the flares. Enlist today to embark on an epic space adventure and do your part. Ooh, let's get some of those cool wipey things in this part, Gina. Join us on Athena Station. Experience the rush of space flight. Seek out new life. Mm. And make new friends along. Ah! <laughs> and make new friends. And make new friends along the way. <laughs> Live, laugh, and prosper. And may the fourth join the space crew. Gina, let's zoom around in 3D and get some explosions going on here. End it with a bang. Thanks, Gina. Um, yeah, I still I don't get the sense of what exactly that game is. I had a, an idea of what that game was before, but they will like watching through like three minutes of it. It's just like I still don't really understand how to how to play this game. Looks cool though. Does a good job. Good jokes. Some good jokes for sure. Uh, so many wipes, yeah. Uh, Cicero says, um, scrubbing through the trailer quickly to get what the game is about, and when you like it, watch the trailer afterwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it, James Ed Smith, I thought it was funny that they showed a guy with basically a shaved head rather than a naturally bald head. Oh. When it was clearly meant to be Picard. Oh, interesting. Too long. Peaceful. Long. Gina, let's go. Oh yeah, he's got a bit of a shadow there. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Is it like overcooked? No, and that's the thing. That's the thing. Like I thought it was gonna be like an overcooked type thing, but it's no, it's like a strategy game. Um, yeah, you're like managing it. It's almost like FTL. It more so, I would guess. 
but you're doing like oh yeah it's definitely cool but yeah I was I was I was thinking it was gonna be more like overcooked Almost word for word that entire intro, yeah, exactly. Some good jokes in there. Uh, cool. Okay. Oh, we forgot to watch one one trailer, and that was, there's a new trailer for Teardown. I'm really hyped for this game. Oh. Playing a truly interactive environment. Oh uh, yeah, look at those. Crumbly voxels. Oh man. The physics in this game. <laughs> Nuts. Teardown is technically so crazy, yeah. Oh yeah, there's the... I, I do love that in world it's like, nobody cares that you've just blown up half the planet, but as soon as you take that little box off the wall... <laughs> Not making a game called Skeleton Crew, but Pirates. Yeah, that's a great trailer. Those are those are like you can tell it's a solid game when you just like you almost have no text. Like you can just show the game as it is and uh, get a good idea. And yeah, they do have this text in here to reinforce. Like, okay, you know, there's this is how the gameplay works. There's a heist. It's really good. Really, really good. Um, what time is it? 2.30. Okay. I think I'm going to probably wrap it up. I got lots of stuff to do because we have a Phantom Brigade game coming out. Uh, and I'm sure you love trailers that feel choreographed like a one shot. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Bad Time 100. Hey, I've been following this guy for a while and I have to say I'm always disappointed by the premise of the game. It looks so amazing. The destruction is incredible, but the objective feels weird. Well... I think it might be one of those things where he made an awesome game engine and then this is kind of like the easiest game that maybe he could make from it. Um, like, I'm sure something that like multiplayer would be awesome, but like, um, you know, make a game like this, uh, sell it, make, get some more money. Maybe the next game can be more complex, that kind of thing. Like, I think it makes sense to me. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to like just make something quick to like be able to fund a bit more of your development process later. That's my that's my thought anyway. Oh, it's releasing with early access too. Oh, interesting. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm sure it'll feel great to play too. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, if the possibility space is too big in a, in a sandbox game, emergent gameplay, it's hard to make a fun game. Yeah. The noisy people talked about it at GDC Talk. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'd be curious to talk about it. Hey, thanks for the follow. I'm sorry I missed that one. Calyx, <laughs> uh, but I kind of like that heist path uh, X destroy all idea on its own. Yeah, I agree. And entry without a big name publisher, it's hard to capitalize on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I think it makes sense to me. Uh, but yeah. I think we're going to call it the, a stream. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Please uh, stay tuned for more Phantom Brigade news now that we, you know that it's going to be launching on November 16th. Mark that on your calendars. Um, but yeah, and thanks for all the... Thanks for, to Derek for hanging out and talking about his, his trailers. Uh, and thanks to the community for sharing their stuff as well. Um, yeah, it's always good learning about new games. I'm hyped for the 10... For the 10MG uh, collection. I'm really excited for that. Um, 
and yeah hopefully it was helpful and we've all learned a little bit and uh yeah good to see you all thanks sarah for sharing your thing um calyx thanks for having thanks for to 007 soccer pro excited for your grandma game too uh frontier men herbivore yep take care everyone <laughs>